Hi everyone, this is Deekshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, we will gonna see like, let's say you have a, a TF file in which like you have uh, defined a lot of resources that you want to create it in AWS. So as you am like, I don't want to create all the resources. So let's say five people are working on the same infrastructure as a code, um, a TF file. So when, uh, so assume like I'm working on VPC and other guy is working on uh, uh, subnets and uh, one more person is working on some security groups. So in that case, you want to create only VPC. So how we can do that by using Terraform commands. So we will see that. So before that, so if you want to play with uh, the simple uh, Terraform code or like whatever I use in this videos, if you want to clone that or a fork it onto your repository and you want to uh, play with the commands that I'm going to show. So you can go ahead and you can just refer it in my GitHub. And in my GitHub, just search for Terraform. And uh, so this Terraform repo, you just clone it onto yours and then you can uh, execute all the commands or like you can use my code. Uh, I have already um, cloned that particular code onto my uh, machine as well. So quickly what I'll do is uh, let me go to the Terraform TF file. So I'll gonna execute in my case. So here if you see, so which is very simple. So I have a provider which is AWS and region I've specified as US East one. And here I'm creating a, so I'm creating a backend.tf. So not backend.tf. So I have a backend. So when in state file, I'm not storing locally. I'm just storing my state file uh, in S3 bucket. So this S3 bucket should already be created in AWS. So with that, so I'm creating AWS VPC, uh, subnet, a security group, and um, a EC2 instance and S3 bucket. So let's say now I want to create only S3 bucket, so, but I, I have all other uh, resources which is defined in this particular file. But when I do Terraform apply, I can auto, I can approve. So what happens is like all the AWS resources will be created, but I don't want to do that. I just want to create uh, AW, uh, AWS S3 bucket. So the simple thing is you can just copy onto other folder and you can do that. But let's say, uh, now I, I want to execute only S3 bucket in future uh, sometime sometime after that like I want to execute um, only I want to create only security group. It's not every time you can't copy copy paste it and create another folder. It, it won't look good right. So you just want to create a, sp a specific uh, resource. So there is a way there is an option in uh, Terraform apply plan and destroy in all these three commands wherein you can create up a, a create a particular resource or you can delete a particular resource. So now let's go to the mission and then we will create only S3 bucket. Okay. So I have already cloned this one. So for the confirmation, I'm just checking whether I have that particular file or not. So let me check. So I'm there in simple modules. So this is not the one. It should be simple tenor form. Okay. So once I go inside that, when I do cat on EC2 creation.tf, the same code I have. So now my requirement is I want to only create this particular resource. So this can be done by using uh, option, which is there in, as I mentioned earlier in all the three commands. So that option is iPhone, iPhone target. So let me execute that before that, let me clear the screen. So the command is Terraform. Before that, let me do a init so that I'm initializing all the plugins in my remote. Now it is initialized successfully. So after this, so what I'll do is I'll execute Terraform apply. Apply and I'll give a target target is equals to here we need to give a resource uh, name actually what what we want to create exactly the first one is um, what resource we are uh, creating so which is in my case aws underscore uh, s3 underscore bucket and uh, you need to give dot and the name of your uh, the block the, the resource block name you need to give so once you give this one Sorry about that. So in my case, it's just a B. When I give this one, so it will only create that S3 bucket. 
So I have not given auto opto. So that's the reason it is prompting me to enter S. So once I do that, as you can see uh, through the logs as well, it is trying to create only S3 bucket. Okay. And also to confirm, so I have a command wherein I can just check what has been created through uh, I, the information will be placed in state file, right? So when I do terraform uh, state list, you'll be able to see what are all the things it has been created from this folder. So this information I'm getting from uh, my um, TF state file. Okay. So this is how if you want to create uh, uh, any particular resource. So when you have a long, like many, many resources that you want to create it. So you have file. So within that you want to create a individual uh, resource. So this is how you'll do it. So there is like a option wherein like you can uh, create multiple resources as well, but you need to add uh, a target tag again and again. So in my case, like assume I want to create um, uh, VPC as well as um, a subnet. In that case, what I need to do is I need to give a resource type. Uh, you can say this is uh, what kind of a resource you want to create and uh, the resource block name. In my case, it is default. And then again, I need to give a target tag and is equals to and uh, so now again, I need to create the subnet, right? I'll give AWS underscore subnet and dot what name I've given for this particular block, which is public subnet. So when I do, when I give this one, so click on enter. Now it will try to create a VPC and subnet. It will prompt me to enter S. So when I enter S, as you can see from the logs, it is trying to create a VPC and a subnet. So two things is added. Okay, so this is how if you want to create a, a only a particular uh, resource uh, which is defined in your TUF file. So this is how you can use a iPhone target option and you can create it. And this this also works with modules as well. Assume like I have one more folder in the same repository, which is simple modules. And here, if you could see, I have this is very simple. I've uh, I've done. Under modules, I have uh, EC2 and S3. Okay, so here, if you see, it's a basic definition that I've used here. Uh, EC2 dot TF. I'm just giving a my ID. The mandatory fields that I'm giving it here. That's it. And also, I have uh, S3 here. So here also the basic definition I'm giving it. So what should be the name and uh, uh, ACL? What should be the ACL and tags? That's it. I'm giving it here. And if you could see my uh, main dot TF. I'm just referring those modules. So I'm not doing anything fancier. So I'm just referring uh, like what modules I want to do it. Uh, so when you have a couple of modules, like let's say you want to uh, execute only this particular module. Okay, so that is also possible. So now what we will do rather than creating S3, I'll try to create this EC2 only. So before that, we will make sure uh, when we ran the previous run, so S3 bucket has been created or not. So this is my S3 screen and as you can see, it has been created. Okay, so now what I'll do is, so before going into that Terraform module example, so let me do Terraform destroy. In uh, With destroy also, uh, what you can do is you can specify the target. So what you want to delete it. Okay, in my case, I want to delete that particular one, right? So before this, what I can do is Terraform state list I can do and I'll get the list of um, uh, resources which has been created. Now Terraform destroy and I need to specify target is equals to and I can give this particular one. So when I give this one, it will try to delete only S3 bucket, but still my subnet and VPC will be still there. Okay. So when I say S, as you can see now what it is trying to destroy. So now when I refresh S3 buckets um, a screen, so this bucket should go off. Yeah. So this is done. So that is how like uh, if you want to uh, create any resource, or uh, if you want to delete any resource, destroy any resource. 
So you can use make use of this iPhone target and you can create individually. Okay, and um, to make sure everything that I've created from here, so let me delete that one. Terraform, destroy, auto approve. When I give this, it won't. Oh, sorry. Terraform. I guess let's just get it. I don't know why it's not working. So. Okay, there is no. I guess some typo mistake. So now what I'll do is uh, let me go to that modules folder, simple modules. I have already shown like what I'm trying to do. So now what I'll do is, um, so the, what I'll try to do is I'll just execute Terraform. Terraform in it. Maybe I'm executed uh, Terraform quite a couple of times in this folder. So that's the reason I'm able to see Terraform state file. But I guess nothing is there in this particular Terraform. So to make sure everything is deleted, so I'll execute destroy. Let me do S. So nothing to delete. It was empty state file. Okay, so once this is done, so now what I want to try do is I want to create only one module, which is this EC2. AWS EC2. So what I can do is Terraform. Uh, let me Terraform apply and iPhone target is equals to. Uh, then I need to specify module dot and the module block name. So when I specify this, only this particular EC2 instance will be created. So it will ask me to enter yes. And as you can see from the logs, it is trying to create AWS EC2 instance. It will take a couple of seconds. Yeah, as you can see, it, it has taken 24 seconds. So to create my EC2 instance, uh, to make sure that, so as you can see, in my S3, I'm re refreshing it. I don't have any S3 bucket which is created. So let it load. See, as you can see, uh, no S3 buckets. Now when I go to EC2, so I should be able to see one uh, EC2 instance. So now uh, you'll be able to see one EC2 instance which is in the state running. So this is the EC2 instance that I've created, okay? And now, so to destroy it, so either you can use uh, that iPhone target. So if you want to delete a particular uh, resource, if you don't want to do that, you can execute Terraform destroy. So whatever you have created uh, from this folder will be deleted. Terraform destroy and uh, it says what to delete all the the things that are related to EC2 will be deleted. And I just give S and click on enter. So now my EC2 instance should be terminated state. So it is still taking time uh, to destroy it. So I guess it will typically take uh, uh, within 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Depends on uh, like what it is as you can see the state is changing like it is shutting down and then the next state will be terminated i guess so yeah one is it is successful now it will take a couple of uh, seconds to update the status in aws console yeah so this is how so if you want to uh, create a specific uh, resource uh, when you have a tf file which has definition for multiple resources or if you are going with modules uh, methodology so then if you want to execute a particular module so this is how by using iPhone target option you can create a specific resource or you, you can create a specific uh, 
things that you have specified in a module. So that's it for this video. If you have liked the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.